what is going on guys today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to access your files from a hosted server a lot easier again this is for hosted servers only on the internet and not for home servers if you have a server hosted on a website it can be very difficult at times to go into the files and then to upload something and to edit things it's just so difficult process just isn't the same as if you had a home hosted server so that's why I'm gonna show you guys this free program that you can download it makes everything a lot easier if you don't believe me just continue to watch this video and I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to use this program called FileZilla Client. Make sure it's the client version that you're downloading and some people may be familiar with this or may know what this is but don't know how to use it. So I'll be showing you guys how to hook this up with your server and this just makes transferring files, editing files a lot easier instead of using it on the multi-craft. It's just so complicated and annoying to use it on this. So that's why we're going to download FileZilla the client. Alright so this is what FileZilla looks like. Now, it might be a little confusing, but I'll show you guys pretty much everything I know. And I don't know everything, but you guys can always help me out on some things I don't point out or some things you know a little bit better in the comments. Because like I said, I just know the basics of this program. So once you have the program downloaded, you're going to have to go to FTP File Access because we're going to have to connect FileZilla to your server with this. Anywhere on your hosted server, just look for FTP file access. So it's gonna give you the, all the information you need to know. So what you wanna do back on FileZilla is go to Site Manager, and these are just a bunch of profiles I have set up with all different information on it. And you guys can create your own profile, and when you wanna connect to that server, you can just double click on the profile and you're automatically connected. So that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a profile first. So taking it from the top, let's go ahead and add a new site. And we're gonna call this, call it whatever you want. If it's a faction server, or maybe you wanna call it the website that you're hosting the server on, so I'm hosting mine on Beast Node. I'm just gonna call this Tutorial. So. There we go. And now we're going to have to add the information that we have on the website. So what goes in host is right here. So it says host. And then you're going to have to copy that server IP, put it in the host. And then same with the port. Just go back and forth and copy all the information properly. And you can leave everything else the same. But under login type, make sure you check on normal. And then here's where you type in your username and password. The username is right here. It'll show you that and then the password is pretty much the password you use to log into your server access. So the multi-craft, whatever password you use, type in that. And then just hit OK. So there we go. We just created a profile, but to actually connect to it, just go to Site Manager and then click on it and then click Connect. And let's see if it works. Bam, it works perfectly. So now we have access to all the files. I have a lot of junk in here. So this is from the actual server. And then on the left side is our own computer. So as you guys can see, we can pretty much transfer files straight up from this side, just drag it on to this side. It works awesome. We can go to desktop, and as you guys can see, bam, right there. So if I wanted to drag a new plugin from my desktop, just drop it in there. That simple. Trust me, as you guys start to use this program more, it's going to be a lot faster, a lot easier, and you're going to see the difference instead of using the website. And I'm going to add a plugin in to show you guys how it works. So I just downloaded Permissions X. We could have dragged it to our desktop and said I'm just going to drag it from here straight on into the plugins folder. And as you guys can see, the process happens down here and it'll even pop up something for you right there. And now it's in there. So you can go ahead and restart your server right now. You don't have to disconnect from this thing. But if you wanted to, you can go to server, click disconnect. There we go. And it'll even disconnect after a certain amount of time, like if you were just chilling not doing anything, then you could easily reconnect with server reconnect. Bam, that fast. Also, an important thing that this allows you to do is upload a custom jar. So maybe there's a certain modded dot jar that you want to add to your server, and you can use the method that I'm about to show you. Or maybe there's a early development build, you want to get an early start on the new version that just came out, and it's not on the website itself. So to add a custom dot jar file to base your server around obviously you're gonna need the dot jar just drag it somewhere easy to remember I have it on my desktop so you can just drag it from your desktop and also rename it something easy to remember I just called mine spigot dot jar so like I said if you want to add a custom jar just drag it into your jar folder and then it's gonna transfer the file now if you don't have a jar folder you would probably have to just drag it into the main folder this is called like the root directory so you just have to drag it onto here with all the properties and server properties and as you guys can see the process is happening right here like I said if you don't have the jar folder then just drag it out here in the open it will vary depending on what server hosting company you have but there we go so one last thing to finish it off 
is there's going to be some type of jar file there's going to be some type of jar file name to edit so it knows which one out of all the jar files you want to use so as you guys can see i have multiple ones but we call our spigot.jar so somewhere in multicraft in the main page maybe under advanced options you can go ahead and name it that so it knows so after that you would just want to click on save and then restart your server so I showed you guys how to transfer files how to move it back and forth between your desktop and your actual server now the last thing that I want to show you guys how to edit a file with this program you don't have to take anything out you don't have to download anything you just want to go to a .yml that you want to edit so let's say like permissions if you want to edit your permissions the easy way then all you have to do is just right click on it hit view slash edit and then that will open up the permissions.yml and it will hopefully open it up in notepad++ if you have that if you don't highly recommend using notepad++ the download link will be in the description if you don't have it but this is just a really easy way to edit any type of file on your server so it's as if you have it hosted on your home computer but we don't and that's the cool part so let's just say I wanted to edit in a permission so essentials.give whenever we're done we just click on save we'd exit out and then we'd hit yes because that is upload this file back to the server and then that's it we are completely done we have it edited all we have to do is just restart a server and it just happened that fast so that's pretty much it and uh, this right here is just a quick way to connect to a server but eventually like let's say you close out of it then you'd have to type in the same information you'd use to connect to the FTP and so that's why I prefer using the site manager so you can always have it there all the information is already saved and you just either double click on it or connect as you guys see here, I just double click on it and it connected. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If this helped you out, make sure to drop a like. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe to my channel for plug-in tutorials on your server. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.